sir ayush agarwal from ni so there were reports when indian caregiver from kerala uh, who was injured during the attack by hamas are we in touch with her family and any indian casualty that we know of Uh, before I come to yeah, please go ahead. Sorry, uh, I missed you. Sir, uh, Rishikesh from PTI. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is India supporting uh, Israel in uh, war against Hamas? Especially, uh, there are reports of uh, a massive civilian casualties in Gaza. And uh, sir, didn't get your question. Could repeat. Is India supporting uh, Israel by on you know, war uh, against by Hamas? What? By doing what? Uh, moral or oh, uh, actually, like generally, you mean and, uh, oh, you mean what is our stand? Yes. Okay. And uh, did PM Modi convey to Israeli PM that this is not an era war? Okay. Uh, Yeshi, what? Uh, Yeshi Sehli from the New Indian Express. Uh, is there any evacuation pro program for Indians stuck in Palestine as well, or this is only for Israel? Okay, fair enough. I saw one more hand. Yes, ma'am. No microphone, please. Milan from India today. Just want to understand India's stance now, considering the recent events. Will India also go ahead and uh, look at, uh, uh, you know, changing its uh, stance or maybe trying to suggest, as other nations are suggesting, that Hamas is a terrorist organization? Okay. And anybody else left that I haven't missed out? Yeah. One more addition, okay? Please, I know it's an important topic. I'm. Sir, so, Meghna from DG News. Uh, we know that security has been increased outside the Embassy of Israel in New Delhi and also other Jewish establishments. Are there any security concerns that the Israel Embassy has conveyed uh, to us? Okay, Pia. Hi, Pia. With the branch, just a simple question: How many Indians in the first batch? Which batch? The first batch of Indians being. Ah, on the flight. Time. Flight. Okay. Yeah, your hand is not visible. Yeah. That look, please, right? Please stand up if you can. Yeah. From the wire. I'm just uh, appending to the earlier questions about from Manus and others. Um, other countries, for example, UAE, Jordan, Egypt, and for Japan, they've all called for maximum restraint on. Uh, in they've not named which party, but they call asked all sides to uh, exercise maximum restraint. Is that also something that we would like to uh, add to it? Add our voice to it. Add to add to what, sir? Add our voice to the call of restraint. Okay. In the region. Okay, I think I've uh, taken almost all the questions. You have one something? Okay, please go ahead. So the Palestinian uh, envoy to India yesterday in an interview said that he would ask India to intervene and will de-escalate the whole issue. What's India's position on that? He has told, I mean us or just the media. Okay. Yes, like <laughs> and for the record, if you could tell your name and so we are help. Sorry, this is Rishabh from my show, sir. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll try to answer many of these questions. No, I think uh, second thoughts. Let's keep it for a little later. I think there are a lot of similar questions. Um, look, I think on this we have you've seen uh, the statements or the comments by Prime Minister. Uh, I think uh, that's that's been very clear on them. But let me try to answer some of the specific qu queries that you had. Let me first look at Operation Ajay. Look, as I said, uh, the flight uh, is expected to the the ferry flight is expected to reach today um, later in the evening. And then hopefully they'll pick up passengers and come back tomorrow morning. Uh, we expect, I think, it can carry about 230 uh, odd passengers. That's what we are hoping can fill it up. But depending, look, this number is broad. Um, you know, how many people can get onto a flight is determined by various factors, including uh, what is the flight parameters. So let's say in that range, uh, we ha we were trying to work that out. Uh, so that was one. Um, do we have आपने पूछा था संदीप जी um, कि हमारे आई वायु सेना के अगर जी हमारे पास सारे ऑप्शंस हैं जो जरूरत पड़ेगा हम वो यूज करेंगे अभी के लिए चार्टर फ्लाइट गई हैं पर जैसे हमने कहा हमने पुराने कुछ ऐसे स्थितियों में हमारे वायु सेना का भी असिस्टेंस uh, लिया है तो अभी के लिए uh, हम अभी चार्टर फ्लाइट देख रहे हैं पर ये मैं रूल आउट नहीं करूंगा There was a query, Siddhant, about people being taken on this side. Look, that I think you would ask the Israeli embassy. We have chartered a flight for bringing people back. Uh, so, uh, how it happens, talk to the charter uh, organization and the embassy. I think is the best to answer your query on that one. Um, there's no barter. Um, then there was a query of how many Indians. Uh, I think Meghna, you asked that question. How many Indians? Look, it's this is a dynamic uh, situation. It's evolving. Uh, there are a lot of people. In fact, I would request um, 
Indians in Israel, if you haven't registered with the embassy, please do register with the embassy. Uh, but uh, we are taking it based on the number of flights. So today's flights, we have the numbers that are there. And depend, we will have more flights depending on the demand for them. So at this point, we are trying to uh, address it as per the demands. As regards security concerns, by look, this is a topic and I will not be in a position to discuss. You have to ask the agencies. We will, of course, as par, part of our obligations on the Vienna Convention, provide all necessary security to host uh, to uh, countries that have their embassies or diplomatic missions here. But what measures and etc. is a, is best left to the judgment of experts in that field. I don't want to comment on it. Um, some, I think you had a query, Siddharth, right in the beginning about weapons of support. I'm not aware of any such request or anything that we are doing at all. Our focus right now is to make sure that those Indians who are in Israel um, are able to come out of Israel, uh, those who want to. Um, I think there are about 18,000 odd Indian citizens. A small percentage of that are Indian uh, students. Others are caregivers and other uh, categories of professions. So we are we are in touch with them and let's see what happens um, you said how worrisome is the situation of course look the situation where there is um, there is conflict going on is of concern but uh, I would re request the uh, Indian citizens there to follow the advisories issued by our mission in Tel Aviv and they are the best judge uh, and be cautious uh, follow uh, take the precautions and if they feel that need, they need assistance to reach out to our embassy uh, directly um, Ayushi, you asked about one uh, person, one citizen uh, who was uh, uh, there, I think, injured. Yes. Uh